12th of November 2023 and in this news flash I want to talk about the front page of the report but this should actually have not been a news flash this should have been a what a fuck moment because it is a balls up of note and for those purists that get upset about my language I, I'm not going to try and even justify or explain it for 30 years you lend your ears out to smooth talking, lying, perfectly syntaxed, smooth Vaseline coated fucking politicians. And this is where we are. And then you want to come and get a fit because I use spices in my language. You better wake up. Shake your head until the shit falls out of your ears and that you can make room in your brain to get some facts in there and realistic realities. South Africa is fucked. There's no other word for it. But look at this front page. Start right at the left hand top of the damn thing. 24,000 rand per head for food on Cyril's aeroplane. What the fuck is that? But this is in a country where there are people that cannot afford a daily meal. But look how this cretin is running the high life. This guy should go and look what happened during the French Revolution. Because that is coming. But the most disturbing thing is, white farmers may not export, says the state. Now you read that headline and your blood pressure goes through the fucking roof. But listen to the facts here. White owned farms not allowed to export, says government. Farms that are considered too white will no longer be allowed to export to Great Britain or European Union. This is according to the new regulations published in the State Gazette by the anti-white South African government that it requires farmers to adhere to black economic empowerment laws in order to obtain a permit to export agricultural products to Europe. Examples of products affected by these new anti-white laws include milk, cream, butter, fruit, nuts, sugar, jams, fruit puree, fruit juices, yeast, table grapes and wine. South African agricultural export were valued at 240 billion, nearly 13 billion dollars last year. 20% of these exports went to the EU. Only agricultural businesses with a yearly turnover of less than 10 million rand, $530,000, are excluded. The majority of agricultural exporters produce value on a scale much larger than this and it's attachment in the state gazette now let's look at this objectively and critically my first comment is I have spoken about the farmers and the exports to the fucking EU and America and that a goa thing that gets people orgasmic but it is all political fucking wanking that is what it is now the reality is this why was there not a single South African white farmers association at the SPIF conference in St. Petersburg 170 Global South countries were represented there. Why was there not a single white farming association there? Now I'm going to tell you and you're going to be the blacksmith for me saying it. All of this that is going on is part and parcel of the greater plan of Triple X and for those that continuously asked what's triple X it's the fucking hook noses Schwab and his gang and global capitalists go and look how much farming production units is under the control of BlackRock and Associates 
Look at that. I have spoken about the mega farmers in South Africa. And the people make a more of a story about how successful and how great they are. And all those associations pushing them with this farming of scale cuck. All of that only means that the production is under control of triple X. Totally under control. Triple X has said it clearly. Famine is the next problem. And they know it's going to be the next problem because they are fucking machining it. But there are whites, arrogant whites, that are so pompous and full of themselves and think they are so fucking superior. And that is the stories that they tell us off the stages and off the TVs. But in the meantime, they're all part and parcel of the triple X gang. And the small farmers, they are suffering. The upcoming black farmers, they are suffering. Because these monsters created by triple X will make sure that they get 100% control over our food supply. Our problem is our society. The majority in our society are too stupid to see the hell that is being planned to them by these Vaseline-coated politicians. Look at this. Children are dying of hunger in the Eastern Cape. Declare a disaster, urges Human Rights Commission. There is a great anticipation among children when they come to fetch food each day from Mama Julia's soup kitchen in the Eastern Cape. Look at that. And these black guys, and I'm in constant communication with one specific guy. They are totally, totally in denial about the cup that is breeding. All they see in their heads is the state must control everything. The state must control everything. And they worship the Chinese model. But they forget the Chinese people are productive and disciplined and highly, highly educated. The South Africans that they are banking on to pull our economy out of the sewer is uneducated, undisciplined, unskilled, just one, most of them are just one, well, not even one step away from barbarian. And yes, cuck in your pants about barbarian too, I don't care. The fact of the matter is, you are eating and sipping lies every day of your life, every day, till that day that you don't have food on your table. Then you're going to remember the words of this old white racist that you so fondly like to crucify. But the fact of the matter is, you are not listening. And I'm going to tell you a joke now. And this is for all these people that are always posting Bible verses and things. They're somewhere in a far off country was a very devout Christian farmer. Not a farmer. He was living in a small rural town. And then the rains came. And the river jumped its banks. And the water pushes up to porch levels. And the guy sits on his porch watching the water. And emergency workers with a rubber duck arrives to pick him up and he says, no thank you, God will provide. So they left. Then the water hits the roof level and he climbed onto the roof and the boat comes past again. This time a bigger boat. Same story. He doesn't want to get into the boat. God will provide. And then the water comes more and more and more. And he sits on the ridge of his roof and a helicopter hovers over him and they want to pick him up. And he says, no, 
God will provide. And then the river took the house away and he drowned and he reached the pearly gates and very upset and he said to the gatekeeper, why did this happen? You promised me God will provide. And the gatekeeper looked at him and said, okay, first I send you a rubber duck. You didn't take it. Then we send you a boat. You didn't take that. Then we send you a helicopter and you didn't take that. So what must we do? Think about this joke. Let it sink in and look at South Africa and ask yourself, haven't we rejected all the lifeboats that came around? But racism is ruling the roost. And I've said it many times on Twitter. I want you to put your racism into a plate and feed your family and let's see how long they will survive. I am so grateful for these people. But what makes me more angry is the whites, yes, the whites, that sees all these things happening, but they are in denial about the realities. They either hit you with a Bible verse or they cuck on me because I use spices in my language. The fact of the matter is, and I'm saying it again, the only way forward is for tribes. The tribes are the ones that will survive because the tribes are the bottom basement of our existence. But we have to be aware there is a total onslaught on our culture and our religion because that is what ensures our survival. And Triple X will do everything and anything to destroy that. Think about that. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.